Allow me to introduce Amy. Like most kids, recess and lunch are her favorite part of the day. However, unlike other kids, she likes lunch for a very different reason. This is the image she sees at home. There is not enough food in her house to support a six-year-old's nutritional needs. Hunger is the first feeling she feels every day. One in five children in America are just like her. She could be your child, classmate, friend, or a random kid that passes by in the hallway. This is the horrifying reality our rich and powerful country currently faces. Children are the future leaders of America. Unfortunately, the future is going hungry. We have created a campaign partnering with Feeding America to improve the current hunger epidemic with long-term results. How big is the issue of hunger actually? In the United States, 13 million children do not know where their next meal is coming from. Hunger distracts a child from being academically and socially on par with the rest of their peers. In fact, 7 out of 12 children who go hungry display disorderly behavior. These children are twice as likely to repeat a grade, and 1 out of 4 hungry students are more likely to drop out of school. The secondary issue is that 88% of people are oblivious to this. This means out of 400 of you sitting here today, only 50 of you are actually aware and are willing to help. Driving passion and empathy in parents will increase time and money donated to Feeding America. Rolling out our campaign this holiday season will lead to the fastest growing quarter ever for Feeding America. During the holiday season, $390 billion are donated and 34% of all charitable giving is done. If there is a time to drive people to donate and volunteer, it's now. Our campaign targets society's biggest contributors, 25 to 45 year old parents who are activists. Since 58% of them are already involved in social and political causes, they will be the most impacted. As of now, Feeding America has on average 2 million monthly volunteers. We expect a 25% growth to 2.5 million. In the past six months, Feeding America has had 403,000 visits to their website. By the end of our campaign, we expect an increase in traffic to 900,000. In the average time duration that people visit the website is one minute and 45 seconds, and we believe that we can reach five minutes. Most importantly, the byproduct of our campaign will be a decline in the dropout rate of hungry children from 25% to 15%, leading to a brighter future by Feeding America. The most effective social media platforms are Facebook and Twitter because they have the largest amount of users within our target market. Facebook has 120 million users between the ages of 25 to 45 who make $75,000 annually. 67% of Twitter users are between the ages of 18 to 44 years old. We won't be using the social media platforms of Snapchat and Instagram based off of the age of their daily users. This campaign element requires a 10 second video post of parents donating or volunteering their time at any Feeding America fundraiser. By tagging Feeding America or using the hashtag Children of the Future, participants will enter into a chance to win four Jingle Ball tickets. This will encourage people to get involved. Now, moving into retail. Consumers spend on average $136 at Costco and $55 at Walmart per trip. And so at these locations, we will implement a holiday roundup. At checkout, cashiers will ask whether or not you would like to round up your purchase to the nearest dollar. For example, a total of 105 and 15 cents would be rounded up to 106. And the change, 85 cents, would go towards feeding children this holiday season. Upon donating, children will receive a scratch and sniff sticker with the hashtag children are the future, as well as a link to the Feeding America website. So imagine if only 35% of the 23 million shoppers at Costco and Walmart donate just 50 cents we'd be able to raise more than three million dollars within a day alone. So just imagine three months worth of donations. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. 
The next best time is today. Planting a future promotes a plan to attract more volunteers with a lasting impact. Parents and children will be able to plant fruit trees in various regions across the United States at local parks and farms and have their names inscribed on a plaque. Here you can see examples of fruits we would plant. An orange tree produces 432 pounds of oranges per harvest. It will continue to yield fruits for up to 50 years. All fruits harvested will be donated to Feeding America's 200 food banks and 60,000 distribution programs. Not only can this execution attract returning volunteers, but also provide a sustainable food source. There are, however, parents that cannot devote time to a large-scale project to just planning the future. Maybe they aren't willing to round up their bill on their purchases. But the one surefire way we can get to parents is through their children. We built and will be promoting a curriculum based around food security to elementary schools around the country. The lesson plans will be downloaded off of the Feeding America website for free and will cover every subject. For example, social studies. Students analyze the impact of agriculture on society. People will be visiting the website for the lesson plans, the answers to the homework, thereby increasing traffic significantly, reaching the highest number of parents nationwide. Simple actions will help children like Amy. We have the ability to change the future, to feed the future doctors, entrepreneurs, teachers, and future parents. The results from this campaign will make sure that the future isn't going hungry. Thank you.